Hi, thanks for watching. I'm Alex. Welcome to MRC. Today I'll be trying to add some LED lights to my UMX Twin Otter so I can make it a little bit more suitable for night flying. If you've seen uh, my previous videos, I've also done that to my UMX Timber X, uh, Turbo Timber also, but this is a bit more challenging to do that. Uh, the main reason is because unlike the timbers, where the fuse just uh, opens in half in the middle and it's held together by the decals, this whole plane is uh, glued together. So the fuse would normally split here, the wing is glued on top. So uh, yeah, it's a bit harder to work with it, but I've looked at it and I think I found a way I can do it. I'll be using the top of uh, the foam packaging comes with it as a stand and what I'll be using for lights is uh, 5 volt LEDs you can tell by the USB connector this just plugs into any USB outlet and it lights up and the reason I'm using these because the Twin Otter flies on 1S so if you connect it straight from the battery these light up and they're pretty bright and I'm gonna try to get a piece of these into the fuse like this and also one on each wing to hopefully light up the wing a bit. And you may know the UMX Altrix shares at least the receiver board, very similar electronics, and that has a light kit, but it's really hard to get to it. It's up top here and it's very inaccessible if uh, you want to reach it unless you somehow cut up the plane and glue it back together. I want to avoid that as much as possible. Plus uh, the Ultrix light kit is very colorful, flashy. I'm not really going for that, just simple white is fine for me. So let's get on to it. Let's see if this works. Now, the first thing I want to do, I noticed the lights it already comes with are covered by these pieces of tape. And there's actually channels in the wing for the wires to go through. So I'll take advantage of those. Now, I do believe this is uh, one piece, or at least it goes under the wing into the fuse. So. I'll have to be careful with that. And I might just make a small cut here because I won't go all the way to the tip of the wing. Have to be careful not to cut the wires already in here. They're really tiny and they're pain too. I'll solder those back together. Okay, and after all is said and done, I'll be adding some clear packing tape over this just to make sure it stays put and looks as close as stock I can get it to. So, as I suspected, this goes under the wing, so just make a tiny cut here, so I can lift it all the way up. Be very careful when doing this, guys, you don't want to cut up any of the wires that are under here. and the servo wires 
motor wires also go through here. I won't be messing with that side. Okay, so now I have all of this channel exposed here. And I hope I'm going to be able to feed some wire for my LEDs through here. So for the LEDs I showed you earlier, these uh, can be cut individually. I'm going to use five per side. And they have these little cut marks here. Also show these little tabs, plus and minus. Let me make sure you are aware of that when you connect the wiring. And these have a silicone-like cover that I'm going to remove. It's not very easy, but if you make a few cuts in it, then you can uh, pull it off with your fingernails, something like this. Make sure you don't cut all the way through. Maybe if you want to do this, you can find LED strip that doesn't have this. Make your work a whole lot easier. And of course, don't do what I'm doing. Be safe and make sure you don't cut your fingers. So for connecting the lights, I'll be using some servo wire. Just gonna need two of uh, the three wires. I'm gonna be using brown and red. And these are gonna be soldered on these little tabs here. But I have to figure out how to thread them through here. With the existing wires, there's not too much space left. So I might need to make a slight hole here so I can pass them through and pull them out through the front. So for that, I'll be using a 1.5 millimeter hex driver. And I'll just make the smallest hole I can that will fit, fit these wires. Okay, zoomed out a bit. You can be very, very careful not to damage any of the wires on there. Pull this apart. Okay, so I managed to fish both of these wires from each side. Uh, it's a bit complicated. It's tight. I just have to push the wire through till you see it coming out on the inside of the plane. Then use some pliers to grab them out and make sure you leave enough length because you're going to have to be soldering these and you don't want to do it inside the plane. And now for the tricky part is getting LEDs inside the fuse and I'll be doing this through this larger hole at the back here. So what I'll do is pre-solder wires to uh, the LED strip and this, uh, this has an adhesive backing Then I'll just push it through here. Also make sure I can get the wire all the way to the front and hopefully it will stick well enough there. Hey guys, so I got a wire soldered to this uh, strip. I'm not gonna do a soldering part. I did a bit of that in my last video. 
with the UMX Timber X. Check it out. And I'm not the best soldering, so feel free to check out other YouTubers. Okay, so I'll try to squeeze it in from here. Now, using this driver, I'll try to get it to stick as well as I can. Okay, and it's out. Just want to make sure the strip in here is secure. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll take all three wires, the one it's, it goes inside the fuse and one's for the wings and I'm gonna solder all of them together plus to plus minus to minus. Okay, so I've uh, stripped insulation at the end of each wire. I'll connect black to black and red to red and all of them to this GST connector. It's uh, the same kind as on the ESC. And then I'll use this shrink wrap to make sure everything is nice and safe. Okay, got all of these connected. Now uh, what I'll do is gently pull on the ones that go to the wings, pull them out, I don't want to leave more than needed inside, it's going to be a bit of a rat's nest, and you can also probably tape these together so they're more compact. So this the C connectors has really short leads. And you can probably tuck this in, in here. Okay, now on to soldering LED street strips for the wings. And before you do that, you want to make sure you have enough length. So they can reach the spot where you want to place them. For me, I think this is about right. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, soldering's done. Burn the strips on the wings. Now let's test. Connect the battery. And there we go. All three work. Now I'm gonna see how I attach them to the wings. Let me disconnect this. And let's stick it apart. Make sure you get it under the swivel arm. this channel it's a bit thicker than wires they use and as I said I'll be adding some clear tape on top of this just to make sure will come loose. Okay. So I can already tell you if servo would fail on this. It would be a pretty big task changing it. 
Hopefully that won't happen. Okay, won't worry too much about that right now. Now what I'll do is try to push these LEDs into the foam. Okay. I'll secure it with tape. First I'll also remove this backing. Start off here. Should probably use a smaller piece. Get it to stay in place. Something like that. So here it is. Almost done. The light shining through the wings is a bit yellowish, but I'm okay with that. Also see it from the bottom, so that's good. And I've added some white tape, so the lights are off. It's not that visible. Now to connect it to the flight pack, what I'll do is make a white connector with one of these that will go into the battery and it will branch off to two connectors. One that goes to the ESC and one to the lights. So I can only turn them on when I need them. Okay guys, this is the connector I made. Nothing fancy. You can probably buy a Y harness like this. I already had the wires, so I just made my own. So let's get this fully assembled. Make sure everything works. If you have any questions about the whole process, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to help. So, this is the final result. You can see it here in a darker spot. So, I checked everything else still works. I haven't broken anything. And this is how it looks like from the bottom. I think the camera is over exposing it's not as bright but have to fly it of course outside at night and see how it looks like so let me know what you think remember to check out the umx timberx light video we'll have a lot more info there i tried to make this a bit shorter don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it or if it helped and of course subscribe See you next time. Bye.